What's up? What's good? Wolf's here. Uh, so, I was not going to watch this video, the Final Fantasy VII Remake opening cinematic. I really didn't want to watch it, but I figured I might as well just check it out, get done there with, because it's going to be all over social media. It's going to be all over Twitter, Instagram, the whole thing. It's probably going to be a selling point for the game. Uh, it seems like Square is, is already starting to kind of blast all the Final Fantasy VII stuff Uh all over the place so yeah um, first I wanted to actually check out um, Final Fantasy 7's original PlayStation 1 um, intro so the OG Final Fantasy 7 intro opening cinematic so let's check that out first <laughs> the old school graphics they're so old school the oh my goodness get out of the way ads damn you YouTube damn you now I will admit um, playing playing FF7 the first time through recently I didn't feel like it was the greatest game ever made I didn't I didn't fully fall in love with it. I did like the storyline I don't think I really, um, I don't think I really, I don't, need, I don't know if to connect it to Cloud is the right word, but I was just like, ah, I'm, like, Cloud's kind of, eh. Um, I really liked, you know, Tifa and Aerith and Barrett and Red 13 and all of them. Um, I don't know, I, I just felt like all the other characters other than Cloud were way more interesting. Sephiroth and, and, uh, even Hojo. They just felt way more interesting than, and especially like Zack also. And seeing all the games that lead up to FF7, uh, it's just so many other characters have such a better story, or, or I don't know, I just, I personally feel like they, they have more character than what Cloud brings to the story. But Final Fantasy VII is, for 1997, it is one hell of a ride. All the different paths you can take. It is pretty fun, uh, just like figuring out the voices, and, you know, how how to say everybody's names and this and that. So this is a Mako, is a Mako. You know, that was all a very fun thing. So I can tell you right now, just off from watching. This FF7 remake has a very, very different video. These old, old classic graphics, all the polygons. Come on, newcomer, follow me. <laughs> all right, so that's the opening to Final Fantasy VII. Now, let's check out the opening. To Final Fantasy VII Remake, running on the PS4 as, as what this trailer shows. Let's check this out. Rated G for G. <laughs> Only in 1080. Getting a very Advent Children vibe off from this. And there is the city. Off in the distance. Wow! Wow. It's just, I, man, 20 years, 20 plus years makes a big difference. I feel like this is what we wanted Final Fantasy 15 to be. And Final Fantasy VII is is making that come true. The 
park. Marlene! Looks like Marlene. The reactors, man. And that goes into the stars above. And then that opens right up to Aerith. The flower girl. Green eyes. The spirits. Like she's, she's seeing or, or she, no really? Just gonna, just gonna step on the flower like that, huh? She knows there's something wrong. My God, look at this city. It's that city feels kind of like Londonish. After so it, it, it's kind of great that I played the original before seeing this because I hell I just got goosebumps. I'm, how many times have they remade this scene right here over again, over and over again, over the years? Mako powered engines. This just reminds me of the opening to Final Fantasy XIII where Lightning's beating up all the all the guards and everything. It's just... Which, that's what FF13 really is kind of copying. Ooh. Ah, there you go. The music just... just Setting up for <laughs> Blade. <laughs> Get down here, Merc. Yeah, material and sword. Wow, that's yeah. Four, ten, twenty. <sighs> Damn, man. It's it's weird because I'm getting kind of nostalgia for different reasons because it's just like my first Final Fantasy ever was Final Fantasy Thirteen, Part One. Um, And t to be all the way honest, I still like Lightning's character more than Cloud's character, but I do like the supporting cast around, like you know, like I said, like Tifa and Aerith and Barrett and, and uh, Vincent. And uh, I never actually had Yuffie on the team in, in my playthrough of FF7. Um, I, I really got to play through FF7 again um, because I did miss a lot, which maybe that's the reason why I, I didn't fully fall in love with it. Uh, I did watch a lore um, the video uh, talking about the full story and I have seen a lot of the extra like side games playthroughs of them and everything uh, which it just overall it, it kind of makes the 
Final Fantasy itself, Final Fantasy 7 itself, is is a great thing, but all the extra stuff that they did kind of it kind of watered it down a little bit. Um, I'm on the boat saying Advent Children was actually a pretty decent movie. Um, I thought it was actually kind of fun. It's just it was seeing like that this whole train sequence right here just reminds me so much of it, it's really funny. Hold on one second. So, so just this whole thing of like the train the train coming in and arriving in um, and the soldiers getting taken out one by one it, it really reminds me of so the FF7 opening just is a, is a very big reminder that FF13 was basically FF7 but with in my opinion a better a better main character uh, I mean if, if you look at this right here it's literally the same opening as FF7 Remake opening, which I wonder if they kind of took the reference of FF13's opening and went with it for the remake, because it feels like, I mean, it's it's almost scene for scene the same thing as FF13's opening cinematic. It's just the more, you know, the, the more city dungeon you open up to this whole landscape of a city and everything it is literally scene for scene FF13's opening which is so that is so funny because I know that there's a lot of people that are kind of like you know FF13's a, a terrible game and this and that stuff uh, but what I really I mean even this like you know the um, the city and everything is basically underneath a plate just like FF7 is like I said I do like okay I, I, I definitely like Barrett more than Zaz um, the equivalent of I guess I guess you could say uh, Yuffie and, and Aerith the equivalent of those two is is um, oh, what is it Faith and I can't even remember their names. Um, hope is the equivalent of I don't know. I, so hope is kind of like an original character, and then uh, same thing, same way with with Snow also. Uh, but the, uh, the the big one was so the most the the, the one that like I said the train intro intro and everything. This is what my brain goes to. And gives me kind of a nostalgia thing. So the suits kind of look the same. Uh, except for this is where I say Lightning is kind of a cooler character than Cloud. I'm sorry, but look at this, okay? She's literally undercover. She is a an actual military soldier. Everybody's going to hate me for doing this. But look how cool this is. And I take nothing away from Cloud. I take nothing away from Final Fantasy VII. But this... It's very similar, though. I mean, when does Cloud ever get this cool looking? She can float. She can fly. I mean, come on, come on. Not to mention, it's the same voice actress of Liar Tissoni from Mass Effect, one of my favorite series of all time. And then, boom, it like opens up to the city. So this is the reason why I was kind of getting like the goosebumps and the nostalgia because I was just remembering of this being my first Final Fantasy. And this was the first opening moments of like actually playing a full Final Fantasy and and seeing and feeling like the whole epicness of what this is right here. I mean, when does Cloud ever get that cool? I hope, I really do hope, that Cloud becomes this cool in the remake, instead of just... 
everyone else doing the dirty work for him. Which yes, Cloud does, you know, he does power up and he gets to be in like the, the, the badass by the end. <sighs> but Lightning's already a badass. I'm just, uh, th this video is, is starting to get into like a, I'm not saying one is better than the other. It's just, it's funny that there's so many parallels between the two, which we all know. We all know that the two games were, were made to parallel one another, but um, it's very funny seeing that Remake's opening cinematic is so coalescent of Final Fantasy XIII's opening cinematic, which uh, very soon I will be playing Final Fantasy XIII. Um, I got the PC version, so I'm going to play it in like full-on HD, triple HD, and uh, <laughs> 60 FPS, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I, I already know that the, the, the full story of Final Fantasy, and that's that's kind of the thing too, like the full story of Final Fantasy 7 and, and 13 kind of coincide with one another also, um, just on the, the aspect of there being this this whole like, like FF7 is the corporate and then FF13 is, you know, it's it, there's both where the planet is dying and that people are, you know, relying on machines to, to feed them and keep, you know, their lives rolling. Um, so it's going to be, I, I just, I don't know, I got a really good feeling that Final Fantasy 7, and here's where I will bring it back to FF7, um, being like, I'm very excited for it because I feel like they are going to add so much more that they are going to make it... Um, Anybody that that finds Final Fantasy 13 to be epic, I feel like FF7 is going to take it to that spot and then also go above and beyond. And now on top of that, everybody that's been waiting for Final Fantasy 7 remake to happen for like 20 something years, there it's just going to be mind blown. Everybody, this is going to be a instant classic. That's this is where I want to really stress that I'm not saying anything bad about either game. Um, it's just personally, I do I, if if I could have lightning inside of ff8 and make that like one full-on final fantasy i would do it I would, I would love to see that but um hopefully hopefully cloud in final fantasy 7 becomes a little more of the badass and that you know I, I just i don't know i just feel like they really want to do that with cloud so let's see if we if it gets there i think it's going to i think it's gonna be pretty cool anyways that's gonna do it for this um yeah I, uh, I'll be definitely streaming Final Fantasy 7 Remake launch night right when it comes out. It's pre-ordered. Um, it will be preloaded. It'll be ready to go launch night um, unless something happens like I'm sick or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to be here launch night. Hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Around on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash werewolf. I will be there streaming and uh, maybe maybe not right at midnight. I might actually, I, it, I might be a little bit late, uh, like an hour or so late. Uh, but uh, I will be, I will be on on there the, that night, uh, the launch night of it. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time.